Charles the Butler is here, and we did a live by so many years ago. When was that? That was like five years ago. That was at your Butler Believe school. Believe it or not, exactly. What a great school. It's sold out. It always does I'm so well. I'm very fortunate, and so the January class is sold out. Okay, people want to be butlers. People want to be butlers. Well, you know, it's a pretty good gig. Uh, you were a butler for a very famous Canadian family, but we don't say who it is. We can't, because, we can't. Uh, you know, a true butler doesn't talk about their employers, but I can tell you. And you won't you, even tell me off air. I won't, no. no. I tried to get him to tell me off air. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'll tell you and all your viewers, it's a very famous Canadian family that we all know and love. And how long were you their butler? I was there for seven years. So you know what you're doing. Hopefully. And you, you know what you're talking about. Hopefully. So you have a book, uh, The Butler Speaks, a guide to stylish, entertaining, and etiquette and the art of good housekeeping. And it was number one with... Um, it's been on the Globe and Mail bestseller list three, three times. times. Okay. Exactly. Uh, so you got a lot to say in here. We do, and it's just going into its third printing. Okay. And so much information in here, but we're just going to touch on some of it. Let's yep. talk about the holidays and entertaining and how we should treat our guests. Perfect. So I thought, you know what, with the holidays coming, I thought, you know, the, the perfect thing is as a hostess yes. is you want to get a drink in everyone's hand so that when they're in your house, they start to relax and someone to talk to. Right when they walk in the door. Exactly. Here's a drink and I'd like to introduce <laughs> you to this person. Because every, as long them. as you have something in your hand yes. and someone to talk to, you start to relax. Okay. You know, you, you don't know what to do with your hands and all that kind of stuff. And so the basic bar that, you know, if you just want to do something simple is there's always there's gin, vodka, rum. Mm -hmm. Scotch and rye. Okay. And don't forget ice and don't forget like a jigger so that you can measure how much alcohol you're putting in your drink, mm -hmm. you know, and the corkscrew. And then, you know, always, you know, some wine. And then the other thing I like is this champagne bottle has a little jacket that keeps it cold. And this is really kind of all you need. It's really all you need. For a good party. <laughs> a great party, I think. Okay, actually. what else do we need to know? We were not, one, one big thing is we're going to watch our guests and see how much they drink. That's actually really important with the holidays. And, you know, it's always that uncomfortable comfortable feeling, you know, if someone has had a little bit too much, but you need to put them in a cab and send them home. Yeah. You need to be strong about that because now you're responsible as the hostess. Or have them sleep over, crash That's on your couch. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Yes. Wake up on the 26th <laughs> and you've still got the whole party there. Well, what else do we need to know? So it's really about just relaxing and, and not being afraid to tell people to help yourself as opposed to you running around all the time thinking you have to get everyone a drink. Get them that first drink and then say, just help Open yourself. Open bar, and help And then before yourself. you know it, the Grey Goose is all gone. Exactly. Exactly. And you're bringing out another bottle because they're the really helping them th themselves over there. Exactly. Okay. What were you going to say? No, no, I was just going to say, it's just about being, you know, comfortable and knowing, you know, that you want your guests to be comfortable. Okay, so this is how we treat our guests over the holidays. This is how we treat our guests all the time. If they Hopefully. come over in the afternoon, we're going to offer them a tea. <laughs> we're going to offer them something. Exactly. But let's talk about other things that are in the book. Great tips. So I think what's really great is the whole secret about the book for me was when I was a butler, what was the difference between me as the butler and all the guests that I would see at the house? Because I would see very famous people from around the world. And I realized that other than and the money, of course, mm -hmm. that the difference was just their self-confidence. And that's what the book is about, is just being self-confident. It's almost like a, um, a self-help book, if you will, okay. on how do you make an introduction when you when you meet someone at a cocktail party? How do you introduce your boss to, to a customer? How do you do that? How, Tell me so, right now. So it's very simple. So you would say, and so you always start with, you introduce the least important person to the most important person. Oh. So that's what confuses people. So you would say, if the customer is going to be the most important, you would say, you know, Mr. Jones, you know, allow me to present, you know, my boss, Mrs. Smith. Right. So you're presenting Mrs. Smith. So people kind of get it confused uh, because they think you start by, with the with the uh, the person you're going to present. Are people losing this over the years? Do you know what is actually starting to come back? It is. Uh, is that we could, the pendulum kind of really swung to the point where we lost etiquette and and things like that and man, social manners, but it's really coming back. And I see more and more people are always kind of writing to me about, uh, you know, the person on the cell phone on, on on the subway going to work or you know the person in the cubicle next to them, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And that is people are starting to, to want it. Again. Okay. Uh, the Butler Speaks, a guide to stylish, entertaining, and etiquette and the art of good housekeeping. If you want more information, all you have to do is go on breakfasttelevision.ca. We have a link on where you can purchase the book and find out more information. What a great gift for the holidays. Thank you very much. And Enjoy. so nice to see you. It's been too long. It has been too long, and happy holidays.